Neville Goddard says you can create nothing. But your assumption determines the portion of creation you experience. Right now, some of you all just went into an argument. But what if? But I want. But since if that's true, then all kinds of weird shit shows up for some people. And that's okay. It happened for me. <laughs> Until I realized this is good news. You can create nothing, but your assumption determines the portion of creation that you experience. This is from the power of awareness, by the way. One of the ones that gets ignored by a lot of people. You see, you don't have to create money. You don't have to create wheat. Wheat? <laughs> Why would you want to create wheat? Well, you see, if you want a pizza, and you have to imagine up the wheat, and imagine up the tomatoes, and imagine up the fishes that become the anchovies, and the pigs that become the pepperoni, and the cows that make the cheese and the people that do all that. I mean, that's a lot of work for one pizza where you can imagine up the yum that implies it was so good. See, some people are conceptually aware of pizza. Yep, dough, sauce, cheese, stuff, right? Four little parts, dough, sauce, cheese, stuff. That's pretty much a basic pizza, right? Conceptually, some people experience pizza as a concept, like money. Yep, it's a concept. There's rich people, that's a concept to me, and poor people, that's a concept to me. So is financial freedom, that's a concept to me. See, I want you to drop concepts as a way of life. Because conceptually, Mr. Twenty, I get it. I hear that all the time. That's why ManifestingMasteryCourse.com is experiential. You've probably read a couple of the success stories. Maybe you've read a couple hundred. But at some point you stop going, conceptually, this makes sense. Conceptually, see, here's the one thing that always holds people back. Are you ready? I already know that. I'm told that all the time. I already know that. I said, well, you might know about it. You might know it as a concept. But to me, the learning is behavior change, and I'm a lifelong learner. I love exploring behavior. You see, be as little children. I watch little children move. I watch how little children think. I watch how little children play with everything. And then I notice adults work at it. Work defined as do something now for a paycheck later. Do something now to pay for that car that you have to sit in for two hours a day to get to the place where you go for eight hours a day. And then you can go home after another two-hour trip in the car and spend two hours watching Netflix with someone who you don't talk to except for about things at work and what happened on the, dry, on the highway today. That's not what I call life. See, what I call life is giving life to the lovely. You all know about my Joseph Goddard, 5 to 10, 6 to 12, before my feet hit the floor. I'm having wins. And you get this is really simple. When you start doing what Neville taught, what we explore, what we teach, you get, you know how hard it is to move into a state? See, so many people have a hard time maintaining the state of the wish fulfilled, like they have to keep building the house they live in. So you don't have to keep building the house that you live in. Neville says the, stern, the, the, the state that you return to most often is your dwelling place. How do you return to your state? How do you do return to your dwelling place? You walk through a door, right? You may turn a knob, you may unlock a lock, but you, you walk through a door. It's not hard. You don't have to pick the lock. You don't have to get a chainsaw and cut a hole in the house. You don't have to build the house every time you come back. You just walk through the door. You see, when I walk through the door, I see puppies and Victoria. They're both happy to see me. Puppies, both, and Victoria. Her, too. You see, you can imagine that. It's not hard. But people make it hard because they buy into things they don't have to buy into. Like... I have to maintain my vibrational alignment with the frequency of, and I must be positive all the time so I stay in the vortex 
So I make sure I put my vision board up a little higher on the wall every day so it collects more of the solar sunshine and the lunar loonshine, and that's just all madness. We call it moonshine. You don't need to drink moonshine to relax. You don't need to listen to brainwave recordings to enter the state of kin to sleep. You're doing it all the time. You see, people tell me, Mr. 20, I am having a hard time maintaining the state of kin to sleep. I says, why maintain it? See, when I'm waking up in the morning, I'm going from asleep to awake. There's a state akin to something there. At nap time, I get a little tired. I just want to close my eyes for a moment and relax as I experience what would imply another wish fulfilled. Not hard. Lots of fun. You can explore it forever. And I'm going to invite you to explore it with us at manifestingmasterycourse.com. I know, about 15 minutes a day is what it takes. Costs about a dollar a day. Rob Begg keeps telling me. Tell them what they're missing out on. Tell them what it's costing them to waste a lot of time on Reddit. (laughs) There's some good stuff on there. Don't get me wrong. You know, a friend of mine told me the other day there's a lot of pretty girls on Reddit. Wow. (laughs) All right. Wouldn't you matter? Wouldn't you rather meet up with one for coffee? Give her a sniff. Appreciate who she is. See, a pretty girl on a Reddit isn't the same as a pretty girl. A lot of people confuse the menu with the meal. A lot of people think that when you order a pizza, you have to grow the tomatoes. Or at least vibrationally align with the farmer, with the tomato, with the sauce maker, with... Oh my god, it's endless. Or you can do a Neville Tot. Love and imply, your wish has been fulfilled. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you got gold today, I want to tell you how this works one more time. Before my feet hit the floor, I'm imagining a podcast that changes the lives of many. A podcast that has people tell me that it changed your life. Again, you know, every day I answer emails, first hour of my day. And then I do it a little bit right before the show, and then I do it in the afternoon. I love it. See, I make great money while doing what I love. I don't make it about the money, by the way. I make it about while doing what I love. And this is what I want for you. I want you to experience wealth, happiness. I don't want you to be chasing it all the time. If this one more thing were to happen, Mr. 20, then I could be happy. I don't think so. There's always one more thing that people put. When they live conditional lives, when they live conditioned lives, I love unconditional love, unconditional happiness. Because at any time you can imagine up something lovely. At any time, Neville Goddard says, you can move into another state in a twinkle of an eye. And since consciousness is the only reality, as long as you don't go, but Mr. 20, once you move, you got to wait. I wait a long time. See, some people are waiters. They imagine waiting. (laughs) I'm not a fan of being a waiter. I'm a fan of ordering my pizza. (laughs) And knowing how yummy it is. Because I explored, I enjoyed the yum. So if you got some gold today, if you want to know why we don't even bother doing manifesting methods till week three of manifestingmasterycourse.com, join us. Do it today. Or dick around for another year or two. By the way, we've got a lovely that just joined up. She just sent us her first update. Seven years. She's been following us for seven years. I just love it. And she, and she tells us what we expect. Oh my God, I can't believe I waited. Right? All the time we hear, week one is worth the price of the whole course. Because we designed it for experiences. Because learning is behavior change. <laughs> that alone will rock your world. So, manifestingmasterycourse.com and sharing is caring. For those of you who share the show, who share the podcast, who share their lives with us, most MM members, they send us an update every seven days. They make my day. That's where the success stories come from. You know, some of y'all say share them, some of you don't. I'm like, hey, that's fine. Don't matter to me. I just love getting to know you. I love being tickled by your successes every day because maybe you've noticed I'm not a positive person. I'm happy. It's another distinction. Oh, Mr. 20, you have to stay positive all the time. Or what? You won't get what'll make you happy. See, I'm just happy. (laughs) Go to the end. 
ManifestingMasteryCourse.com. That's it for me, gang. Have a lovely day. I think I'm going to do an extra episode later today, so stay tuned. See ya.